Hi, this is Jose from City of Cars. Just wanted to do that walk around video for you and that 2019 BMW M760i. Absolutely gorgeous car. Uh, extremely rare too. Obviously you don't see a lot of V12s out on the road. Definitely makes a present. Beautiful M badging along the side. Just letting you know you have something special. Uh, cameras right alongside so it does have that 360 view. Got a V12 badge right on the side. Again, just kind of highlight that it is not a normal car. Walking around it. Again, car overall looks pretty clean. Um, now we just did one little circle. Now I'm actually gonna go through and highlight any little imperfections that I see. Starting with this scuff right here on the front bumper. As you can see, obviously got a little nick there. You got a little bit of pepper marks kind of coming along the hood obviously that's just normal wear and tear now the car does have ppf you can see the line right there um so a lot of those obviously got protected by the ppf but like i said on the bottom bumper aspect of it some of them did kind of go through i'm not seeing the ppf on that side a little nick right there in the corner but that's about the worst of it Obviously, being a black car, you do got a little nicks here and there throughout the body. But wheels look pretty good overall. Mechanically, the car is very sound. No major dents or scrapes or anything that, again, if you're not really paying close attention, um, you know, they're not going to be highlighted. You got a little fine line scratches here and there throughout the vehicle body. But nothing majorly that would stand out. Going through each one of the rims. Don't see any major wheel scuffs or things that would obviously highlight there. So overall I'd say it's pretty clean. Obviously it has been driven on the road, but nothing that would uh, you know stand out overall. Stepping inside the interior of the vehicle, absolutely gorgeous interior. Uh, taking a peek at some of the controls, you got window shade controls, massaging seats, memory seating, obviously your trunk release. You are greeted by a nice little V12 badging. Again, just a little reminder that you are not in a typical car there. A little storage compartment. Let's go ahead and have a seat here. Steering wheel obviously is fully electronically adjustable. It does have a heated steering wheel. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. <laughs> the previous owner got very creative when naming his car. Big Daddy, welcome. There we go. And we'll turn that on. And car, you know, turning it on, even though it's a V12, very docile, like very luxury feel to it overall. Not crazy exhaust noises or anything like that. But obviously, once you open this thing up, I mean, it is an absolute beast. Coming in here, you actually have fragrances that you can actually put in the car from OEM. I think that's gonna be in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, the fragrance releases. So these things right here, you can actually put like your own scents into the vehicle so it kind of goes into the cabin, which is kind of cool. Go ahead and put those back in. Let's go ahead and test out the backup camera. As you can see, it is kind of that 360 um, view, as well as like an individual, and you can customize them for brightness, parking, front, you can look right at the front, so definitely a nice little camera system. You also have a couple different mode settings right here, right off the bat. Obviously, you can go adaptive, economy, comfort and even sports configuration which even kind of changes the whole layout of the dash which is kind of cool to see those animations adaptive cruise control take a peek at that rear window shade gotta love the materials like everything you feel is uh obviously high-end materials very very comfortable like even wood grain on the handles here like everything you feel obviously you can tell they did not cheap out on this car whatsoever do have a power sunroof let's go ahead and step into the back 
Right off the bat, you have plenty of leg room. A couple little buttons here for the sunshade controls again. You can operate them from the back seat, as well as the rear sun visor. You also have two major display screens right in the back. So you'll never have to hear, are we there yet? Because obviously they have their own navigation. Yeah, let's lower this part down here. Nice little controls. And you can see all the seat adjustments. So obviously, I mean, this is very similar to a Maybach or a Rolls Royce as far as the back seats, as far as the amount of adjustability. Um, obviously heated and cooled seats in the rear. Got a couple normal outlets there as well as a CD player in the back. Obviously fully adjustable climate control, actually quadruple climate control system because everybody can adjust their own temperature. I also have these little mirrors built in for the people in the rear. You notice like there's even cushions in the rear seat of the car. Absolutely insane. Um, I think, let's see, doo -doo -doo. got rear sh curtains too in the back so you can just try to figure out how to operate them here. Obviously, that's just windows down. Let's take a peek. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Even the side ones come out. That is insane. That's really cool. Obviously, we can drop them back down. Really cool how the car does that. Got a little little storage compartment there obviously you can raise this back up but I mean as far as space and just comfortability I mean this is insane absolutely beautiful and obviously the premium materials you know run all the way to the back area as well Got a little cigarette ashtray right there air vents on the side let's go ahead and go back to the trunk here go ahead and pop that open and let's see, ah, there it is, trunk release. It's fully automatic there. Plenty of trunk space. I'm taking a peek underneath here. A couple tools. Right, let's see, this can drop down as well. All powered. I'm sure you're very excited to see under the hood. BMW's got to pull them twice. There we go. BMW performance. That didn't write on the engine cover, but as you can hear it, it's running nice and clean. those headlight design and here let's go hunker down a bit and look at the undercarriage I'm gonna go ahead and turn the flashlight on here for us here we go as you can see pretty clean overall let's go ahead and just go towards the very front Again, solid. All right. Now what we're gonna do is just kind of go for a quick little drive around the block, just so you can kind of see it on the road. But overall, I would say this is an absolutely beautiful car. Great bang for the buck factor. And you're not gonna see a whole lot of them on the road. This is a car that you can safely assume that you're not going to see another one quite like it in your hometown. Alright, cool. We got it out of that spot. We're just going to take it for one quick little short drive around the block just so you can kind of see it rolling down the road. <laughs> do have a heads up display. And I got to tell you, the ride is so plush, man. I mean, this just reminds me of a Rolls Royce. I mean, you can tell it's heavy, but just the suspension system takes all the bumps so smoothly. 
nice mixture of uh, sports cars slash luxury. It did an excellent job. Hit a little bit of the gas. Oh, it just takes off. Definitely a very well built car. Go ahead and come down here again. And the handling, I gotta say, is suburb. I mean, there's no play in the wheel. You turn it, and I mean, it, it turns where you tell it to go. It's, it's nice and solid. Obviously, you do got paddle shifters as well if you want to have it a little more spirited drive. Yeah, braking. Obviously, press the P to put it in park. But, no, absolutely amazing car. I'm hoping this video kind of helps you obviously get a better sense of the vehicle um if you have any questions obviously um make sure to give me a call but other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day